We're in the kitchen, though. It's National Nutrition Month, and this year's theme is Fuel for the Future. So to help you fuel yours is registered dietitian Rachel Engelhart, and she's here in our Good Day Cafe to show us how we can have an easy and a sustainable way to meal prep. Welcome. Absolutely. Thank you. It's great to be here. Great to have you. I love the setup, by the way, Thank and your you. dress pulls it all together. Thank I just you. wanted to say that for all our about viewers. The, the natural tone. <laughs> yeah, all the greens, and yeah. we want to be healthy and, and healthier, and Absolutely. this is a good option. So before you put me to work, because yes. I understand you yes. will, uh, talk about this whole jar bar method of meal prepping. Okay, so jar bar takes a simple jar uh -huh. and uses it to fill with as much nutrition as we can pack in and hopefully a really delicious, really easy, sustainable way. Yeah. So I'll walk you through and I'll show you how it's okay. done. And also affordable too because you can reuse the jars. Totally. Not only can you reuse it, it's also recyclable because you can use a marinara jar, you could use a duck sauce jar, you could use a jam jar. So it's not just about going out and buying containers, you can actually use the ones that you have lying around your house. Buying and losing a lot of Tupperware. I do that a lot. So, and the, and then the, the mismatch yeah, of the, the lids. lids. Don't get me started. I know the struggle yeah. is real. So let's start here okay. because you have uh, a lot of veggies. Okay, so I have for you okay. a jar. Okay, today we're going to make this sweet potato deliciousness recipe that I came up with. Um, and so the first thing to do is start with the salad dressing. You want to put that on the bottom. We're strategically layering it so that the you know all the vegetables stay stay, you know, non-soggy, crisp, and delicious. Oh. So we're building this ahead of time. These okay. last in the refrigerator for three days. And the goal is a little bit of dressing at the end of it. When you're ready to eat it, you give it a good shake. And so it evenly distributes and makes all the veggies and greens delicious and tasty. This is this enough in here, Rachel? You or? may want another, another little bit. Okay, I should just bit. pour it. I love dressing. You could have poured it. That's okay. <laughs> well, you can always add more later. That's also the truth. Got it. But next up, we've got sweet potato. Generally speaking, the next layer, you want it to be a little bit more like dense, like a cruciferous vegetable, cabbage if you're a cabbage fan, um, broccoli, those kinds of like more dense carrots. Vegetables hold up really well in the salad dressing. They won't get soggy. So we want to make kind of like make layers so that we're strategically mm -hmm. keeping the things that are going to get more mushy farther away from the dressing so that it tastes better longer. That makes it and lasts longer. Exactly. Got lasts it. longer. So if you care for tomatoes, you can do tomatoes, tomatoes next. But we really want this to be satisfying, so we want to choose a few veggies to, you know, because we want to get that natural, those mm -hmm. vitamins and fiber are so important, but we also really want this to sustain us throughout the day, so getting a grain in. Quinoa, lentils, pasta, rice, whatever is going to work for you, even noodles, actually. And the truth is also, you might see these ingredients and think, wait, this is, this is too much, but I promise you, it's not because... Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Giant, they all have so many great prepared ingredients. So the okay. reality is in this spread, the only thing I prepared was the sweet potato that took, took me maybe like 10 minutes and the quinoa also. Kind that of is like great. And I'm glad you mentioned affordability because I was doing the math or thought I was. I was looking at all this here. You're a mother of three small children yes. and this works for your yes, family. Totally. And like I'm very cost effective. I grocery shop very thoughtfully about cost. And I, so I really think about what is going to be sustainable for my family, what's going to go a long way, what's going to be easy for people to do. Also, I work with a lot of clients who are trying to improve their relationship to food. Mm. This is a very easy way to do it. And, um, and even like the salmon, there's rotisserie chicken. This I did not make. I bought that pre-made at Trader Joe's. There's a smoked variety. Rotisserie chickens are awesome. Marinated chickens in the freezer aisle or in the refrigerator aisle are awesome. There are just a lot of things you can do to make this actually very minimal prep. Yeah, and once you finish, it may look something like this. Exactly. All depending on what you put in here. This is exactly. So this is the recipe that I made, but there are endless combinations and really it's all about what's going to be satisfying and delicious to you. But the best part is is that if it's, you know, it's a Wednesday and <laughs> you took the time on Monday, Wednesday morning you can you know, grab from your refrigerator and have something great to take with you on your way to work. Absolutely. You also may be looking at having a meal prep just twice a week on this sort, uh, sort of schedule that we have Absolutely. here. And using leftovers from yes. dinner, like other leftover ingredients, but it's all about really easy. So this is great for busy people, mm -hmm. corporations, corporate America, like Anyone who's busy can really benefit from this. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for this cute little <laughs> diagram you made here of the recipes. And I know you have many posted on your Instagram page. Yes. So I invite all of Check you to out. follow her there as well as her website to learn more. Thank you on thank this you National so Nutrition much. Month. Yes, we appreciate it. Me.